Hi guys, welcome back to Chow. Today we are going to make fruit tea two different ways. One is using syrup, so if you don't have fresh fruits, you can use syrup. And the other is using fresh fruits. So what we're going to make are strawberry and passion fruit green tea. Very, very delicious. I have here some frozen strawberries because in this part of the world, there's not much fresh strawberries available. And if they are available, they are quite expensive. So, and where I am in Thailand, it's very, very common to find passion fruit. So I'm going to use fresh passion fruit mixed with green tea. And for those that do not have fresh fruits, we also have the way of making it using syrup. So I'm using strawberry puree and also passion fruit puree. To start this process, we are going to make our green tea. The green tea that I have here is just a regular green tea, pure green tea, not jasmine green tea, but pure green tea. I'm just going to put, this is quite strong, I'm going to put about half a tablespoon of my green tea into this measuring cup. There's no real measurement for this. You just make sure you have enough tea for the two cups that we are going to make today. So I'm going to brew this tea for about five minutes. Green tea, especially if it's fruit tea, you don't want it to be too strong, too bitter. So five minutes on the clock and that's all we need to brew our green tea. And whilst we're waiting for our green tea to brew, we are going to make the other ingredients. For the green tea, just before we continue, I would actually prefer that you use the cold brew method of brewing your green tea. But today, because we're going to do it in a rather quick way, I'm using hot brew. If you would like to know how to cold brew your tea, check out the video link above. So let's wait for a bit. This time we're going to make 22 ounces cups of fruit tea. For my fresh fruit, I'm going to blend the strawberry, frozen strawberry, put it in my blender. Now you can blend a box, so a few, let's say half a kilogram of frozen strawberry into your blender. And because you want it to be a little bit sweet, I'm going to add about one ounce of sugar syrup. Now, this one doesn't mean it's only good for one cup. It can be for two or three cups. I just want the flavor and freshness of the frozen strawberry. I'm just going to pop this into the blender. So you don't really want to blend it too fine. You just you still want to have some bits there. So I'll just put this aside for now. And then we're going to start making our fruit tea or green tea using the syrup. For this, I'm going to start with the strawberry and I'm going to use a shaker. It's nicer for fruit tea to be presented with a bit foam or foamy top. So you can either use the frother, the electric handheld milk frother to have a foamy top or you can use a blend, uh, shaker if you don't have an electric frother. So there you go. I'm going to put the recipe that I use is half an ounce of strawberry syrup. I'm running out of strawberry, so half an ounce of strawberry syrup. That's all, that's all you need. And then I'm going to add half an ounce of the simple sugar syrup. The sweetness is up to you how you can how you would like to adjust it. You can make it sweeter or less sweet. So I'll put this into my shaker. Waiting for my green tea is nearly done. So that's about four seconds at the clock. Come on, we're nearly ready. Okay, that's done. So let's get our green tea. So it's just like this color. And um, I'm going to just strain it. Very, very simple to make. If you have a tea sock strainer, you can also use a tea sock. So two tea that we will use for our two types of fruit tea. Mm -hmm. 
I am not mixing my passion fruit yet. I want to put it on top. And we'll add ice into our shaker. There you go. Give it a bit of a shake. Well, shake it vigorously. And that's it. Done. Let's pour it into our cup. Using green tea gives you the color that you're looking for. So if you're making strawberry, passion fruit, green tea, the color of strawberry will come out. There you go. See that frothy top? That's nice and so tempting to drink. And then I'll put a little bit more ice to fill this to the top. And then I'm going to add my passion fruit. This time, passion fruit, all I need will be 10 ml of passion fruit. So you want this to be a bit more of strawberry and the passion fruit is just an additional flavor. So I'll pour my passion fruit on top. Now let's make the next one, which is using our fresh strawberry. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend my tea. Again, I'm going to use the shaker. I'm going to use my green tea, put my green tea into the shaker. For those of you that have not seen um, how passion fruit looks like, it's just, just this very, very simple fruit, but packed with goodness and so delicious. So I'll just slice it up. This I'm going to use for the fresh fruit green tea. So that's how it looks like. Have a look here. So you, let me just put my passion fruit, fresh and natural passion fruit into the shaker. I'm just going to use both of them. Have a look. So you can eat all of that, seeds and all. And then put some ice before we shake. So this time we're reversing it. Passion fruit with the green tea and shake. So we're shaking, we want to fold the top for our drink. Okay. So I'm going to put my strawberry at the bottom. So Let's do that. So this is fresh strawberry. This is going to be delicious. So you don't want to be too much. You just want a little bit of that. So you can actually make use of this for your next drink as well. And then I'm going to put my passion fruit green tea on top. For the moment of truth, let's try both of them. I'll start with the one you sing, Sarah. Just give it a give it a stare. Cheers. Very, very refreshing. And of course, the base is green tea, which is healthy, full of antioxidants. Some of you were asking me if it's possible to use black tea as base for fruit tea. The answer to that is a simple yes. The only difference is that you might not get the color that you're looking for. So this to me looks more like strawberry and passion fruit. If you use black tea, it might be darker than this and you can no longer tell what the fruit flavor is in your drink. So that's the syrup and this one is using fresh fruit. So the sweetener that we use here is the one that I blended with a strawberry, frozen strawberry so it might not be as sweet as you would like it to be. If you would like to adjust the sweetness level, you can add a little bit more sugar syrup. Now let's give this a try. Looks really, really delicious. And you can see the passion fruit bits in the drink. Very tempting.
I think I'm getting the, the seeds. Wow. It tastes like passion fruit. Oh wow, that is absolutely delicious. So, so yummy. This is a little bit um, less sweet, so it won't hurt if you add a bit more syrup. Fresh or frozen strawberries with fresh passion fruit is absolutely delightful. Mm, delicious. Two types of flavored green tea using passion fruit and strawberry. Both are delicious, they're different. So it really depends on your budget and what's available in your market. So if you have any questions, let me know, comment below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.